theturtleroom.com, education, conservation, survival. Hello everyone, this is Anthony from theturtleroom.com. Just wanted to take a second and explain how I constructed um, our newest enclosure here uh, for Geoemida spangleri. Um, this can be hopefully useful for um, terrarium or habitat construction for um, for other similar species. Um, you probably want to do something on a bigger scale because um, animals really don't get much smaller than these unless we're talking about dart frogs or something like that. So I figure we'll start from the bottom and work our way up. Um, this habitat has a hole in the bottom with some screen over it. Uh, a big hole actually with some screen over it that I put in. And um, this drainage material here is put down as a first layer. Um, if you read Keeping and Breeding Freshwater Turtles by Russ Gurley, he talks about using pea gravel as um, a first layer of substrate. Uh, we use this, it's a little more porous than that. Actually it's very porous, it's very lightweight and um, it allows for great drainage. So that goes under our substrate and uh, the water can find its way through that and out the bottom so we don't get any flooding. As you can see from this close-up, we have live moss growing on the bottom. Uh, basically, this just needs a nice moist environment to thrive, um, which it's starting to do um, as we speak. Uh, the substrate is um, cypress mulch, peat moss, and organic topsoil. In the soil, we have some plants, obviously, that you can see. Um, we have a couple different ferns, we have pothos, ivy, um, and then this bigger plant is a peace lily. All provide great cover, cover for this species, and these are not animals that eat a lot of uh, vegetation, so um, don't really worry about the plant selection as much as you would if you had a grazing species like um, stigmocellis or um, Central, Central Kelly's um, leopard or sulcata tortoises, something of that nature, um, much different. There's a couple different water dishes within uh, these habitats. Um, this one obviously needs to be cleaned a little bit, but this little girl doesn't mind too much. She still will come in and take a look at it. You want to have multiple water dishes if you're keeping animals together um, because they will develop a hierarchy and there will be aggression, they will um, form territories and fight over things that are considered uh, important like food and water dishes as you can probably imagine. We utilize two different types of hides here, one is uh, for this species, one is the cork, cork bark rounds, um, those are really lightweight, really naturalistic and moss will grow right on those. The other hides we use are um, clay pot halves, which again are lightweight, pretty durable, and are perfect size for these little turtles. And the last little accent I'll tell you about is this ghost wood. Uh, I really love it. Um, Joe and I both use the ghost wood. Um, it's available through New England Herpeticulture. Their website is neherpeticulture.com. And um, be sure to check them out. Really just a great company to deal with. So. Make sure you check them out. I'll put their website in the description for this video. Uh, thank you very much for checking this out. Hopefully it helps any of you who are working with this awesome species or species like it. Please visit theturtleroom.com for more information or subscribe to our YouTube channel.